Um, today I thought we would do an Easter egg. Whatever the heck this is that I'm working on. Tutorial. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, Luminart Twinkling H2Os are actually non-toxic, which means you can paint them on the Easter eggs and you can eat them later. So anyways, what we're going to do today is use um, Sticky 2 by Creative Imaginations. This is what it would normally look like. And I'm going to use the um, Tide Pools theme from Christine. And I already cut one out. And we're going to try the starfish. And what I decided to do was, because the egg is round and this is very flat, I actually put some slices into the um, rub-on. And this particular rub-on is actually adhesive on both sides. So one side is going to stick down to the egg and the other side is still going to be sticky. And today we're going to choose to do foil on top of that. So I'm going to remove this protective sheet. And then I'm going to center it on my egg as best as possible. There we go. And then I'm going to just rub it down. And you can kind of see that the glue gets a little bit darker color. And then you can tell that it's adhering to the egg itself. So we're just going to keep going a little bit. And if it's not perfect, um, I don't actually care. You, those that know me, know that typically my art isn't perfect, and that's what makes it kind of cool. You know, I embrace my imperfections and the imperfections of my artwork. And here we go, it's starting to stick nicely. And even if it isn't um, perfectly smooth, that part won't matter either, because um, after all, this is an underwater theme, and it's not going to be perfectly clear underwater if we were underwater, right? So we're going to remove. Just about done, just about done. Sorry it's taking so long, oh my goodness. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And a starfish is born. We're gonna cover this starfish with some foil. I'm gonna use some of the copper foil from the Earth Collection. You can see it's nice and wrinkly. That means that only parts are gonna show up on here. We always put the pretty side up. I'm just gonna rub it really nice. There we go. I'm sure that crinkly noise is wonderful on your ears. And we'll peel it back. And you can see some of the foil has stuck down. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the green foil. I'm going to rub it on nicely. Yeah. I'm not using a popsicle stick. I kind of just use my fingernails. I can feel it better. Foil comes off pretty easy. You can start seeing it showing up a little bit. Rub it here. You can use a burnishing tool if it makes you feel better. Um, I probably don't know where my burnishing tool is at this point, so once again, you know my fingers, I can't lose them. <laughs> that was my attempt at being funny. How's it working for you? Anyway, here we go. It's getting there. You guys seeing that? And let's finish it off with a little bit of blue. Blue is good. All right. So you can kind of see where that is, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint this with a contrasting color. So I'm thinking today that this egg is going to be blue, and I'm going to use something like maybe... Hmm. You want me to use green, Maddie? Olive. Olive. Olive green. Well, let's see what happens. All right, so we actually have already sprayed these. We're going to do it again, but we sprayed them a while ago. And the reason we did that is so that they're a little bit thicker when we paint on the eggs because we don't want the um, Luminart, or I mean the Twinkling H2Os, to be really runny. And you can see it's sticking even right over top of the foil. We will wipe that foil down later and really reveal um, the pretty design. There we go. Turn it around. Is that the most incredible green ever? Right? How many times have I said I love olive wine? I think every single fucking time. I am just the queen of the olive wine. All right. Boy, even if we didn't clean this off, this is probably one of the most beautiful eggs I've ever made. Now, I'm going to go ahead and heat it. So we already painted the front. And I used the heat tool to kind of get it to dry up. Now we're going to do a little coat on the back. And that way it's even on both sides. And 
and remember that we kept our um, Twinkling H2O's moist but not watery, almost as if you were going to use it like a paste because we really don't want it to drip down the egg. So there we go. You can see that? And I'm going to use the heat tool again just to get it and get to that little spot. Okay, I'm going to use a heat tool again. Okay. The egg is dry now and I've dipped a little bit of a paper towel into some water and I'm cleaning off the foil so we can start to see where that starfish was. At least that's the plan. Let's see if the plan backfires on me or not. Does anybody see a starfish? My poor starfish. I think I'm gonna do a darker color. Right where the starfish is. Okay, let's try that and see what happens. I'm going to use like a dark purple right over the top of this fish. And I'm going to wipe it off. There's that fishy. You can see it coming alive. You see the fish? it a lot. There we go. What do you think? Pretty cool.